Welcome to the Blue Scissors Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blue Scissors Podcast. I'm Shannon. And I'm James. And we are back. Just us two again. Jossie's not here, but it's okay. Jossie will be back. The semester is almost over, so he will be here every week starting soon. Um, but uh, while he's not here, it's okay. Uh, just going to kind of a warning, guys. It is a very dry week in terms of things happening. So it's going to be a short episode today, but uh, we'll do our best. Uh, James, how have you been in the last week? Uh, pretty good. I've actually been pretty tired, but it has been a slow week as far as nerdy content goes. It has. It has. But um, yeah, this is one of the the drier weeks of nerdy content. So, uh, but have you been doing anything nerdy this past week? Have you been reading anything? Um, no, not so much reading. Actually, some new chapters came out today that I need to read later on, but not in time for the episode. Uh, I finished Yasuke and I've been watching some streamers because I mean, I haven't been actively doing any nerdy things. So like gaming streamers that I watch just kind of turn that on in the background. But that's about it as far as nerdy go, nerdy things go for me. What have you been watching people stream? Call of Duty? Yeah, Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, I figured, I figured. Okay. Uh, what have I been doing? I haven't been doing anything super nerdy. I've been reading uh, Fruits Basket. Do you know what Fruits Basket is? I do. I haven't read it, but I heard people talk about it all the time. Yeah, so it's really good. Um, I haven't watched it at all, and I don't plan on watching it. I'm going to wait until I, I'm going to try to get as, through as much of the manga as I can first before I watch the anime. But um, yeah, I've been reading that. Uh, I'm pretty, I wouldn't say I'm far into it. I'm kind of like, I don't even really know how to, just, maybe the middle or like the beginning of the middle, not maybe exactly in the middle, but yeah, I've been enjoying reading that a lot. Uh, that's been fun. And then I know last week I said I was going to watch uh, Jupiter's Legacy. I was supposed to take that L if James was going to finish Yasuke. So I'm sorry, James, but um, I completely forgot to watch it. Um, I had a crazy week this week. Uh, I had a crazy day yesterday and it just slipped my mind entirely. So, um, you know, next week I will take the L and I will watch it. I swear. There's a promise. And then uh, you guys can crucify me later. If it, <laughs> um, But Yes, I, I did not watch it for this week. I wish I did, because it would have been something to talk about. But uh, James, you finished Yasuke, so let's talk about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I finished it up. I, I watched the first half the first time I watched it, and then I binged the second half. So just six episodes, it was pretty quick to binge. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but I don't want to discourage anyone else from watching it. <laughs> I just... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he said, you said you wouldn't recommend it to anyone. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, they, my credibility might come into question if, if people are like, oh, you told me to watch this. And then they see Mechas and Magic and then they're like, I mean, if you're, if you're into Mechas and Magic, then I would recommend it to that group of people. But um, yeah, Mechas are my thing. So yeah. so it didn't get any better. Uh, it, it got a little more magical. So there were less Mechas. It was like some god they were fighting. Uh, I mean, oh, well, okay. I don't want to spoil it or anything. But yeah, it, it took a turn for more magical as the okay. show progressed. Oh, hell, it's spoiler alert. I don't plan on watching it. So, you know, I'll just put an alert here that there will be a spoiler. So just like go into detail. I just want to hear about it since I'm not going to watch it at all. <laughs> gotcha. So uh, they kidnapped the girl. Um, and then Yasuke was trying to take her to the doctor, but the doctor wasn't really a doctor. It was kind of like a person that specialized in teaching people how to use their magic powers. Okay. So that was, that was the mission. And then there was like a spider demon lady that became the new main villain so first it was that priest that kind of came out of um, nowhere the catholic priest um mm -hmm. he was sort of the big opponent and then they finally they fought him they beat him and he, he had hired the mercenary team to hunt down yasuke and the girl but they ended up the mercenary team since the guy that was paying him died they're like you guys are on our problem so they kind of just left them alone and they didn't didn't bother him at all anymore it was uh it was kind of weird because that's the main people they're fighting for the majority of the show well half the show and then yeah, after their boss died, they were like, well, no one's going to pay us, so we won't bother you guys. And then that was kind of the end of that. So, okay, yeah, it was a bit weird. And then, yep, after that, it turned into, well, so they showed a preview of, I'm not sure exactly, it was like a like a spider demon kind of lady. And then that's that was their main opposition. When they were going to find that, the doctor they were looking for, and there were more, more mercenaries trying to hunt him down. Um, 
guess that's pretty much how it went. There was fighting in town. They, the people turned on Yasuke because the priest kind of told him, hey, Yasuke killed the lady that died. And then, yeah, he was lying on his name. It was, it's kind of muddled. It was a, it was a bit muddled. Um, I'm just grabbing it to the best of my ability. I was, I was kind of zoning in and out folks and all some other things. I think I was washing the dishes or something. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't sound very appealing to me at all. So did they allude to the fact that there was going to be, so they alluded to the fact that there was going to be another season? Uh, I mean, there were plot holes open. Okay. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure if it was. Okay. Two or three, but yeah. Well, if, if someone wants to come in and redo, retell that story. Oh my God. Yes. Standpoint, I'm would, begging anyone, it. any studio to come and take this and just do it again. <laughs> and yeah. I didn't even yeah, finish it, a... but as you can see, uh, <laughs> um, it wasn't great, but like, it's not like this is like a, it's not like this is an unpopular opinion or anything. Cause a lot of the internet, uh, hasn't enjoyed it or was disappointed by the fact that it was so out there. So, uh, whatever, what do you rate it on a scale of one yeah. to 10? Uh, I, I would actually give it like a six because the action, Ooh, the action sequences were cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, act, the action was cool. It was cool to see like black characters on screen, and then a black artist was on the soundtrack. So I mean, all all those things are like the positives, but the mm-hmm. actual story itself was, was where it lost all the points. The story and like the storytelling, because like it, at one point it was like they were trying to push NFTs or something like that. The the artist had like some NFT, like you know the the loading screens basically when you mm-hmm. cut the commercial and then you come back and it's like a little musical number they show like a mm-hmm. background thing yeah they had some of that mixed in there so i mean i guess it was just for artistic purposes but yeah the storytelling was kind of weird because it would show like history flashback and then cut to there's some mechas going on so it was like it, it wasn't it wasn't really one directional as far as the story goes so and then the mechas uh, i'm not into that it, that's a very specific lane so if, if that's your lane you, you'd probably love it but i don't i don't drive in that lane so there's only one mecha anime that i really like and that's um Gurren Logan. I don't know if you've heard of that show or seen it, but that's I, I my like Logan. yeah, that's my favorite anime. Actually, that's the only mecha anime I like, though. I don't really like any other mecha anime. So, but yeah, I can understand why that could be a turn off for people because there's a lot of people I don't like mecha anime. And yeah, um, I I kind of feel bad that uh, everyone was looking forward to the show to be able to support a black uh, animation studio and black creators, but it kind of just. I guess missed the mark, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, yeah. They can retract it and do it again, <laughs> and then try again in like a couple, maybe like a year. Just give it a give it another cool. But yeah, we'll let see. it cool off a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but a six is not bad. I thought you would give it less than that. So, but you wouldn't recommend it. So here's <laughs> this is not the anime pick of the week, guys. Don't watch it. He's what he's saying. Watch it if you feel a strong need to support the numbers which is always important, but don't expect much from it. Right. Let it play in the background. Give it some good ratings so that mm-hmm. that way the Netflix bosses will be like, oh, people like black anime shows. Let's let's give them more, but not Neo Yokio or Yasuke. Don't give us mm-hmm. another one of those. <laughs> yep, that's it. Uh, I was about to say something, but I lost my train of thought, um, which often happens for me. What was I about to say? Shoot. Oh, did you watch any? So uh, Castlevania came out the new, the last season. Did you watch any of that yet? I totally, totally forgot. So <laughs> I'll watch that this week. Okay, Castlevania came out. Somebody told me that the, a season of Seven Deadly Sins came out. And I'm like, I don't think that's true. Because I went to Netflix and there is no other season here. And that's that's what I was trying to look for. It. But whoever told me that, I forgot what friend told me that. It's a lie. Um... Yeah, it's a lie. There is no new season. So if that was a rumor that was going around, then it's... But um, I compl- I forgot about Castlevania too as well. So I didn't watch that this weekend. I need to get better with watching things when they come out so that we could talk about it. Um, Because I'm sure people are expecting us to. So sorry, guys. <laughs> um, We will get better, I swear. I promise. Um, I feel like something else came out too. Oh, Resident Evil came out. Uh, If anyone out there is playing that please let us know how it is uh i haven't purchased it yet uh i plan to but let me know if it's worth it before i spend my money so now that it's out if you've played it let me know if it's good or not 
and only then will I buy it. Um, and James doesn't play games like that. So, of course, he, <laughs> he didn't. Uh, even though it is a shooter game, technically. Technically. I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a horror fan. Horror movies, horror games, it's not really my thing. Neither am I. But there's, like, so much hype around this game. But I don't like horror games either. But it's kind of compelling. It's kind of, like, pulling me in a little. I kind of want to see what it's about. But I don't think. I'm just scared because. Since I don't like horror games, I don't want to waste seventy dollars on a game and then like I can't get through it. That would be a horrible waste Makes of money. <laughs> but I kind of want to try these new things. It looks like fun, so I'll see. Oh, that Saw movie uh, with Chris mm, Rock. Chris Rock that came out. I, that I do. I do want to check that out. Um, I saw the preview when I went to see Demon Slayer, and I was like, oh, I totally forgot it was coming out. So I think that yeah, came out on Friday, right? Oh, it's out now. Oh, yeah, it's out. Yeah, yeah. Out. Okay, so. Yeah, my boyfriend, he said he wanted to watch that too. But I'd never, I've never seen any of the Saw movies. Not because I'm afraid of them, but because like, I don't know. I guess I just never saw them. And I don't understand why they're, is it a reboot or is it a continuation? Uh, it's like a spinoff story. Um, well, not, not exactly a spinoff, but Jigsaw is back. It's, uh, it's kind of like the other side. Chris Rock is a detective trying to figure out what's going on with his Jigsaw mm. thing. So that's, uh, that's the storyline there. That looks interesting. See, stuff like Saw doesn't scare me. Only things, the only things that scare me are like ghosts and like possession, stuff like that. Not like psychopath murderers. Those don't really scare me. I can, I can stomach that. So if anyone watched Saw, what's this Saw called? What's, what's the official title? Uh, let's look before we uh, lie to the people. <laughs> Oh, it's called Spiral. Spiral. Interesting. Interesting title. Okay. So if anyone has seen Saw Spiral, let us know how that is. I'll probably have watched it by next episode, so we can definitely discuss that too. Uh, and it's not, oh, it's called Spiral. It's not even called Saw. Interesting. It looks like it's reviewed pretty poorly. Uh, I mean, it's a horror. Yeah. It's a horror movie. Horror movies are rarely reviewed uh, positively or well because it's just been. It takes a lot, I think, to pull off a horror movie in a in a way that's good. What is it being rated? Six point five, thirty nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, A Quiet Place Two is coming out um, May twenty eighth. Oh, another good one. Actually, I never saw a Quiet Place. I never saw the first one, but I heard it was. I heard it was really good. Uh, did you see that? Yeah, that movie? Did you see that one? Mm -hmm. hmm. Is it scary or is it just like suspense? Uh, it's like suspense thriller. Uh, it's not. Well, there's jump scares, but okay. The likelihood of uh, things attracted to noise that come and kill you is yeah, of course. I, you won't be looking across your shoulder you're walking down the street when you watch it. Okay, so but it's a very interesting concept. Maybe I'll watch the first one because the, the I heard it was really good and, you know, I need something to watch. So maybe I'll watch that too. Uh, so that's, I've added, I've, added like, I've added like four things to my list already. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get it all done. But again, just quickly going back to Saw, this makes me kind of like not want to watch it just because I feel like it's going to be stupid. But whatever. It's been a while since Chris Rock has been in something, so. We all support him. Let's watch it anyway. Yeah. And as a non-comedy role too. That's uh that's the part I'm most interested in seeing. It's always weird to see com to see comedians in serious roles. It throws me off a little bit, but hopefully you can pull it off well. <laughs> Cause you just look at his face and just like see comedy. <laughs> I guess. But um anyway, uh the Venom 2 trailer uh came out. So I've also never seen I've never seen the first Venom. I didn't watch it. Um, was the first Venom movie good? I heard mixed things about it. Uh, I liked it. I, I okay. wasn't sure what to expect going into it, but I enjoyed what I saw. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know why I didn't watch it. I just think I just didn't get around to going to the theater to see it. But I will watch it in preparation for the second one. Uh, the trailer looked good. But again, I didn't see the first one. So I don't really know. James, what did you think of the trailer? Uh, this trailer looked really good. So I'm excited for the second one. Let There Be Carnage. So it yeah. looks like Carnage will really be making appearances here. So mm -hmm. that'll be cool. And that's cool. what I know that's something that people were waiting for. But uh, people are also waiting for Spider-Man to pop up in there somewhere. But I don't 
think that's actually didn't they say tom holland was on the set like a while ago yeah i heard the rumors but i didn't yeah. see any confirmations yeah um so who knows uh and it's it's always tricky since venom is solely a sony property and i don't think that there's any talk of of them lending him to the mcu like they did spider-man so i don't i don't think people should expect that but uh yeah there's a trailer uh do you remember the release date uh no top of my head okay let's look this year for sure yes this year for sure september 24th oh Oh, that's like right around the corner wow there's a lot of things coming out like this summer and this winter this summer fall winter so you have black widow coming out in july which again i don't really know how excited people are for that but that's something (laughs) um then you have uh shang chi coming out in september you have loki oh so loki starting in june uh june 8th 6th june whatever one of those they moved it up two days so now i'm now i'm confused this one's coming out june 9th one of those uh somewhere in that week uh loki is starting then you have black widow in july then you have shang chi in september and you have venom in september and then you have spider-man in december so that's pretty that's pretty good oh and i saw something that said marvel's uh what if is coming out in august so it's going to be a good summer slash fall for movies and shows. It will. Yeah. Plenty of content. Mm-hmm. Are you looking forward to What If? Uh, Not really. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a trailer will change my mind, but from what I know now, not really. Okay. I mean, I don't really feel any particular way about it either. I don't really want to see Marvel zombies. I don't like zombie stuff, so whatever. And then, but there's a whole bunch of other scenarios too, but I guess it's one of those things that we just have to see it first before we form a judgment about it kind of like wandavision it was kind of just like there something that we knew was happening but then you know you watch it and it's like oh this is good so we'll see either way it's something to add to your lineup of stuff if you're looking for stuff to watch over the summer um and then what else is in the docket what's this that you put in the rundown james i actually didn't look at this oh apple versus epic so there's been an ongoing lawsuit between epic games and apple for it started back in the summer and then what is what are they suing them for uh so it all started when epic they they tried to go around apple's app store purchases so apple Uh takes a 30 percent cut of uh anything purchased in the app store or the in-game purchases Mm -hmm. so epic included into fortnite the option to pay Epic directly and not pay Apple at all. So Apple doesn't get their cut. Ooh. So once they did that, Apple said, all right, you're out of here. So they, they pulled them from the app store. And uh, that seems to be the main part of the uh, lawsuit now is Epic is saying, hey, Apple is running a monopoly here. We want to be able to pay just us, and not give Apple a cut. So uh, temporarily, Fortnite is not on the app store. So okay. anyone that plays it on Apple devices, you can only play the the latest that dropped before they removed it. So all the current seasons you can't play, and you can't even play against people like that are on, let's say, PC or something like that, because you're playing it, technically an old version of the game, so you can't play the updated stuff. So that's the main the main lawsuit going on there. So it's the it's a sticky situation for sure. Yikes! <laughs> um, but um, okay, so whose side are you on in this battle? Who's right and who's wrong? Uh, you know what? I think I think I'm with Epic because, like, let's say you were offering in-game purchases of, like, let's say skins, ninety-nine cent skins. So Apple would take thirty percent of that, even though, but even if it's a free game, but you paid, you're paying just for skins. So like, that's the to support the developers. So mm-hmm. I, I'm always on the developer side as a developer myself. I'm a mm-hmm. bit biased there, but I mean, it, it is fair that hey, Apple is per- we we give you guys the platform to even be able to host this. So, I mean, yeah, they do I deserve mean, a fair share somewhere. Yeah, I understand that as well. That's that's I was gonna throw in that devil's uh the devil's that devil's advocate point, but uh the point you make is really good too about uh the cut uh going to the developers. So I can understand both sides, but more so the developer side because Apple is a huge conglomerate and they don't really need that money, <laughs> to be honest. So I mean, 
it's enough that they're already getting a cut from well i guess if it's a free game i guess they have to get their cut from somewhere but like maybe it could be less of a cut right i don't know yeah, potentially or yeah. at least don't try not to remove the option for developers to say hey can you just pay us directly and like i don't think that's a fair point because the developers fee that well the direct payment to epic was 79 7.99 and then paying apple for the battle pass was ten dollars so you get a slight discount if you pay directly to epic so if customers do want to say hey i want to support the developers let me give them my 7.99 versus giving apple the full 10.99 yeah or 9.99 rather but yeah that makes sense uh i i understand i understand that point uh so i guess it pro- I feel like, do you think it's going to come back on the Apple Store? I feel like it probably won't. <laughs> uh, so for the moment, they're they're allowed to keep it off of the Apple Store, but they aren't allowed to not let Epic use the Apple developer tools for the rest mm-hmm. of their games that are Apple-based. So there's a, the lawsuit, it'll, it'll be long-standing. It'll probably end with like, hey, just let the people have what they want. And take yeah. a small cut. I think it'll, I think it'll end that way versus it'll never be on the Apple Store again because it's widely popular. I'm sure Apple wants to cash in on some of that money. I don't think kids are going to stop playing Fortnite anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Kids love Fortnite. Oh, my God. It kind of makes adults not want to play it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I completely understand that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, did you hear this story about how Target is not selling um, Pokemon cards or, like, any other trading cards in their stores anymore? Yeah, I did. Which is kind of insane to me. So uh, Target has taken off has stopped selling Pokemon cards in their store because uh, they're afraid of risk of injury. I guess because people have been going crazy trying to get cards, like try to find rare cards to sell. Um, in the past few months, there has been there have been some uh, certain cards that have been sold for uh, massive amounts of money. There was a Charizard card, I think that was sold for like, what was the number I saw? I feel like it was like $100,000 or something like that. $400,000. It was a crazy number that a Pokemon card sold for, which uh, kudos to the person that had that card that sold it for for that much money i wish because i went through my pokemon cards the other day and i don't have any rare ones i wish i did but uh because of that people are trying to buy pokemon cards but um i just want to point out that no pokemon card that you buy from target now is going to be worth anywhere near close to that money so like what are you guys doing i don't i don't understand (laughs) um so i don't really get the sudden rush to want to buy Pokemon cards from Target. Please stop because you guys are ruining things for everyone else. Uh, so Target's not the only store that has taken it. I think a couple other stores have agreed to stop selling, uh, but Walmart has said that it will not stop selling Pokemon cards because Walmart is not stupid like Target. So there's that. But um, how do you, <laughs> did you have any thoughts on that, James? Do you think it's dumb? It uh, dumb. Yeah, I think it's dumb. It, this, this whole scalper, uh, mm-hmm. movement that's going on now I, it's going crazy people are scalping even gas lately so oh it's, yeah uh, that was scalpers so dumb. Are getting out of hand that was so stupid oh lord people don't know what to do themselves now the world's opening back up and then people are just <laughs> yeah, trying to trying to make money off literally anything scalping gas for a fake gas shortage was that real i hear people were saying it wasn't real and people were saying it was real i don't really know what's going on all i know is that i was able to get gas in my neighborhood so yeah, I had to wait in a line, but I was able to oh, get really? some, uh Friday. Wow. So when, yeah. when it first happened, I didn't need gas. And then when I actually did need gas, I was like, oh, gosh, I hope this is done. And uh, Yeah, so the line was more so like people were taking selfies at the pump and like blogging and everything. So it wasn't that the gas was pumping slow. It was just people Keyboard. were sensationalizing the experience of getting gas now. So it had to wait until people got their selfies off and recorded themselves filling up their gas tanks before I could get the gas. And people were like siphoning gas. I read a story that someone's car caught on fire because they were they had gas in like a some kind of container that's not approved to hold gasoline in. And I'm just like, you guys are so stupid. What is going on with people? <laughs> yeah, so Get- scalpers, scalpers are ruining everything. Gas is Pokemon dangerous. cards, yeah. trading card games. Yeah. And like I said, like scalpers are trying to ruin everything, but like like we said, like any current Pokemon card that you buy from Target is not gonna be worth a lot of money. So I'm confused. Yeah, it's definitely maybe, not going to be worth It's definitely not going to be worth $400,000. You know how long that person probably had that Charizard card? <laughs> it's probably like a first print from like freaking 1997 or something. I don't know. Um but yeah. So thanks 
thanks guys and thanks target i guess for stopping the sale of pokemon cards that was sarcasm even though i don't buy pokemon cards anymore but for the people that still do buy them it's kind of inconvenient so yeah oh, big time mm-hmm. pokemon i can't believe that pokemon is like still a thing after like all these years like the show the games i understand but like these new characters and creatures that they come up with are like really weird and dumb like i don't know if you've seen any of the recent the newer pokemon like the ice I've cream seen, yeah. ice cream cones and garbage bags and chandeliers and i'm just like isn't it time to just stop if you've run out of I, I think the steam is the steam is running out <laughs> If you've run out of animals, I think it's time to just call it a call it quits. Call it quits. You just gotta know when to stop. Yeah, the the mega evolutions that are just huge versions of the exact same thing. I think uh, once we get to that point, it's uh, let's let it breathe. Yeah, yeah, but people love the money, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, I think we talked about this in like a previous, in like a prior episode, but since our last episode, I've since learned how is like, how are restrictions in, you live in Virginia, right, James? Right. How are, sorry guys, we're going on to a new topic now, if you couldn't guess. Uh, how are COVID restrictions over there? Is Virginia open or is it opening soon? Or are you guys still like on a lockdown? So we're opening soon. Um, it, it, it was announced that uh, restaurants, they'll be back to 100% capacity, indoor and outdoor. Um, stadium venues are beginning, beginning to open back up. Parks have been open already now. So mm-hmm. uh, we'll be back to what it was prior to the pandemic shortly yeah. here. So in about the next two, three weeks. Yeah. Okay. So same for New York. They they were saying that it's going to open on May 18th. They were saying that if you were vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask indoor or outdoors anymore it's kind of weird so with all that being said uh in this rush to just tell people they can throw away their masks even though uh (laughs) other parts of the world are facing extinction because of all their triple double strains of all this other stuff anyway with that being said are you going to be going to any cons this year uh i was considering it so there's a popular one here otacon and then blurred con is here in dc um I, i i might go and still have my mask on um, mm-hmm. if I feel like it's looking safe to go. But uh, I, that'll probably be a game time decision, probably like the week of. But mm-hmm. I maybe maybe I should get my cosplay ready just in case because I keep telling myself that I'm going to cosplay. And uh, this sounds like an excuse for me to not cosplay because I'll be like, oh, well, I didn't expect to go. Yeah. So maybe I'll just have a cosplay, keep it in the closet. And then once I feel safe to go to a con, boom, I have my cosplay already. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'm the same as you. I think I'm going to have to sit on it a little more. I probably won't be going to any cons over the summer, but I do know that New York Comic Con is going to be back in October. And since they, uh, since everything's opening next week, basically, and that's going to be a good six, five, six months, I guess that's enough time for me to see how that goes and then decide if I want to go to Comic Con. But I do miss going to Comic, I do miss going to cons. So I will probably try to go if the world doesn't crumble under this <laughs> under this decision. So I'll probably wear a mask too, just because like I don't. I'm not trying to be. It's just I think it just gives me anxiety now to think about like the way that we were all packed in like sardines in the convention center, surrounded by sweaty people. Like it just kind of gets <laughs> like it kind of gives me anxiety to to have to do that again so i'll see i'll see maybe i'll wear a cosplay that requires a mask anyway so it's not weird <laughs> uh that's where i currently stand on cons right now uh blurreds and nerds if you are planning on going to a con in the next couple of months uh you should let us know let us know if you're nervous or not uh but yeah i just think that's interesting the way that uh we've taken a sudden turn yeah <laughs> yeah just overnight boom Everyone says it's safe. Literally overnight. Overnight. Crazy. Um, But it is cool because I think, so last summer, I didn't mind wearing a mask outside when it was 90 degrees outside because, you know, I wanted, the virus was still a prevalent thing. But now like this, like when it started getting warmer here, I was getting very annoyed with having to wear a mask outside because it's all hot. It makes your face all hot and sweaty. So that's cool. I don't wear a mask 
I wear a mask like in store still, but if like there's not a lot of people outside, then I don't have one on. So because nobody wants to wear one in the summer. So I mean that's the only upside to this. <laughs> uh, Get your mask tans. Yeah, I just want to know how people are planning to verify if people are vaccinated versus unvaccinated. Who's checking for that? That's what I'm curious to know. So we'll see how we'll see how that goes. Something tells me that businesses are just not going to care, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, the con I followed, they said they won't require proof of vaccination to come in. So there you go. That's people, already, uh, people don't care. So what was the point really of pushing a wide vaccination effort if you're not going to check to see if people are vaccinated? Uh, I got to find out sidebar. I lost my wallet last week so i lost my vaccination card so i have to find out how to get that replaced um Yikes. yeah i have a picture of it because they told me to take a picture but i have to figure out how to get like an actual copy of it back if there is a way uh i was on the phone with a couple people and they weren't really helping me so i'll see um um i had a point about this and i had something else i had to say but it's bleeding it's gone now oh okay so that was that Sorry, jumping to another random thought. Did you watch uh, Love? Did you watch, what's it called? Sucks Love and Robots? Did you watch the first season of that on Netflix? I did. I meant to start it. Uh, I think the first episode I fell asleep and I was like, all right, this probably isn't for me. And uh, didn't go back to <laughs> no. it. So the first season is really good. The second season came out uh, over this past weekend too. But I'm hearing mixed reviews about the second season. So I'm going to watch that this week also. That's another thing I have to watch. And I'll be back with a review on that. But uh, the first season, you should watch. Because there's some interesting stuff in there. Um, but yeah. Sorry, guys. That was that was very out of left field. Kind of like this episode. We're all over the place. Um, so we just want to talk about how we plan on structuring our episodes going forward. Uh, since nerd current events is not as active as world current events, uh, we will be splitting up our episodes uh, on a bi-weekly basis. So, I mean, we'll have an episode every week, but one week we'll have like current events stuff. Cause I usually, usually I notice that every other week is when like there's more stuff to talk about. So I'll be having current events stuff one week. And then another week will be like, just kind of like a discussion about anything, anime, movies, a certain kind of fandom. We'll, we'll come up with stuff to talk about. Maybe we'll have guests on if we're talking about a specific kind of thing. And that's how we're going to like switch every other week. The on week will be current events. And then the off week will be like typical discussions is how we're going to move forward with episodes. So if you're a fan and you've been listening to us for a while and there's stuff that you want to see us talk about or stuff that you want to hear us talk about, then leave us a suggestion, email us, leave us a comment on IG, DM us, anything of that sort. Uh, and we will be happy to oblige you if it's not anything too crazy. Um, and that's how we'll be structuring our episodes. Uh, if there are any guests or anyone that you would like to, like, or a specific kind of guest that you, like, want to, like, see us talk to, uh, let us know that, too, and then we'll try to find somebody. And, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Just giving you a heads up of things to come. Um, James, for this episode, do you have anything else? Uh, let me check the rundown thing. Did I, did I put any extra notes? No, nah, I don't Apple, think so. Where's Epic? No, nah, none, none for me. Uh, on a random note, if you still don't have a PS5, Sony said that uh, shortages will continue into next year. So you probably won't have them. If you don't have one now, you probably won't have one anytime soon. <laughs> that was my Not random with note. with these scalpers. The yeah. <laughs> that was a random note for the day. Uh, but with that... Uh, we will see you guys next week. Uh, make sure that you like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Blurs Nerds. Send us an email, blursnerds at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and rate, review, and subscribe on your podcast listening app of choice. As always, I'm Shannon. James. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Bye.